before we start analyzing the structure, we first need to figure out the analytical period of the building. As I mentioned earlier, according to the code, we need to compare the analytical period T with the product of Cu and the approximate period Ta, which we have already calculated. If T is smaller than Cu times Ta, we will need to go back to where we set the seismic loads and fix the period by using T instead of Ta. Now since the stiffness modification factors for determining the period are different from the previous according to the code, we will make a separate file just for this. So what I will do is save as the current model file and name it something like model period. In this new file, we will adjust the stiffness of the members according to the code requirements for period calculation. Then we'll analyze this model to get the value for T and compare it with Cu times Ta. If any adjustments are needed, we'll go back to the main file and update the T values. So here's what I'll do. I'm going to save as the current file. Click on save as from the file menu and add underscore period to the file name. In section 6.6.3.2 of the ACI code, they talk about the stiffness modification factors used in service load analysis for checking deflections, vibrations, and the building's period. It says that the moment of inertia we have used so far needs to be multiplied by 1.4. Now, for our building, the modification factors were 0.325 for beams and 0.7 for columns. If we multiply those by 1.4, we get 0.5 for beams and 1 for columns. So we need to enter these updated modification factors into the period file. So go to the select menu. We click on select, then object type. And finally click on beams to select all the beams. Next we go to assign menu then frame and property modifiers. We change M3 to 0.5 and hit OK. Now we do the same thing for the columns. We select all the columns in the structure. Then we go to assign menu, frame and property modifiers. And this time we enter 1 for bosom 2 and M3. Then it's OK. Since in this file we only want to run a model analysis and calculate the building's period, we go to Analyze menu, then set load cases to run, and change all the load cases to do not run except for model. Also, we uncheck the center of rigidity so that the analysis doesn't take too long. Finally, we click Run now to start the analysis. After the analysis is done, to get the building's period, we go to the Model Explorer, Hit the Tables tab, then go to Analysis Results, followed by Structure Output, and then Model Information. Right-click on Model Participation Mass Ratio, and select Show Tables. We'll look at the UX and UY columns to see which mode has the highest percentage of participation. For UX, the highest participation percentage is in mode 2. And the period for this mode is 2.91 seconds. So TX equals 2.91 as shown in the table. For the Y direction, we look at the UY column 
and see that the highest participation is in mode 1, with a period of 3.03 seconds. As mentioned in the code, these analytical periods we have calculated need to be compared with Cu times Ta, which is the approximate period. According to tables in section 12.8.2 of the code, since the value of ST is 0.52, which is greater than 0.4, Cu is 1.4 and that's been entered into the table. Ta is calculated using this formula, with the coefficients C, T and X provided in the table. If you plug in H, which is the height of the building, we get Ta equals 2.17. The product of Cu and Ta, which we need to compare with Tx and Ty, is calculated here. As you can see, the T values in both directions are smaller than Cu times Ta. So we need to update the period values in the main model file and enter Tx and Ty for them. So let's go back to the main file and update the period values. We open the main file from the file menu by clicking on open. And we need to update the period values that we had entered for the load patterns EX, EXPN, EY and EYPN. To do this, we go to define menu, then to load patterns and we'll adjust these four load patterns. Here we change the period time setting from TA to user defined. For the extraction, we enter 2.91 seconds. Then for the Y direction, we enter 3.03 seconds. After that, we hit OK. Now the model is ready for analysis. 